everyone and welcome to our first YouTube tutorial. This tutorial will walk you through the steps of how to create a cursive word, convert it to an SVG file using Adobe Illustrator, and then uploading that word or SVG file to our Glowforge to be able to cut a word out. So this is one of the most simple projects and one of the first that I learned on my Glowforge. Um, today I am using Adobe Illustrator. I just have this program. I do not have the entire Adobe program. This I pay $20 a month to access and it is worth every penny. Um, you can see I create a lot of projects in here. Most of my files come from being created in Adobe Illustrator. So I highly recommend it, especially if you are using a Glowforge laser. So to get started, I am going to start over here by creating a new page. So once this opens, mine's already set to letter, which is totally fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and click Create. Once this opens, my workspace will now show. So I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see what I am doing today. So like I said, we're going to be creating a cursive word and then helping you learn how to save that as an SVG file so that it is compatible with the Glowforge program so you can cut out the word. So first thing, I'm gonna come over here to my type tool and I'm gonna click on that. Then I will come over to my workspace and I will drag out a box and it's going to put some text into there so you can just either backspace or start typing. So for today, I am going to cut out the word gather. So once I have typed it in, you can see that it's obviously too small. So I'm going to come over here to, I'm going to minimize that. And then I have double clicked on it to drag it out and open it to make it bigger. Then once I've done that, I want to change the text because we are going to create a cursive word to cut out today. So I'm gonna come up here to my fonts and I'm gonna right click and I am going to use the Kismet font. So this is a font that I did purchase. Um, you can purchase fonts on websites like Etsy. You can also download some of them free from websites like dafont.com, which I'll list below. Um, is a good one and there's also various other websites that you can purchase fonts from as well. So once I have that I'm going to come back up to my selection tool because I do want to make it a little bit bigger. So depending on how big you want the word um, you can see that there's nothing up here telling me the sizes that I'm creating. So what I'm going to do is come up to my toolbar and click the view option come down to rulers, select show rulers, and then my rulers pop up. So then I'm going to right click on the ruler, select inches, and then now I'm in an inches format. I will come over here to align, or sorry, transform. And then I can see right over here under the width and height how big this is. So typically in our Glowforge cutting space, you can fit a 12 by 20, but it will only allow you cut to cut up from 11 inches high to 19 inches wide. So I'm gonna get it as big as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually only gonna set it to 18. And if you hit enter, it's gonna size that to the width. And I'm going to go ahead and switch the height and I'm gonna play around with a little bit just to see what looks best. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. I can even go all the way up to 11. So that looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. So then once you have finished creating your word, the next thing we want to do is again make sure that our word is selected. We're going to come up to our top toolbar, select type, and then come down here to create outlines. So I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see that once I've created outlines, it's created an outline of each letter so you can see where they overlap. Now if we were to leave it like this, it wouldn't cut a smooth path. 
for our word on our, once we upload it into Glowforge. So we want to make sure this is a smooth cut path. So once you have done this, the next step is come over here to your Pathfinder tool. And under Shape Modes, we're going to select the first one. What this is going to do once I click on it is it's going to weld the letters together. So that way we have one single cut path when we go to cut out this word. So then once I click it, you can see those overlaps are no longer there. So that is it for creating the actual word portion. Like I said, this is one of the easiest things to learn when it comes to Glowforge, but often some people are not familiar at all with Adobe. So this is a great starting point. So then once you've done that, we wanna make sure that we've saved our file as an SVG file so that we can upload it successfully into our Glowforge. So once we've created our word and we're finished, like save saving. as. And then you can title it whatever you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and save mine to my desktop. And then down here under the format, we want to make sure that we have SVG selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And under the profiles, I have this first one selected under fonts. The type is SVG. Subsetting, just leave that how it is under none. Image location, you want to make sure that it's a link. And then we're going to hit OK. So now my file is saved and I can successfully open up Glowforge, upload my Word or my SVG 